Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Inside this envelope, we have an iPad 2nd gen that I think is running iOS 5. Now, I don't love when people ship iPads inside of these envelopes because there's just not really any protection between the iPad and the outside. So the corners are, I mean, I can feel the edge of the iPad right there. So I think there's actually a decent chance that this thing is gonna be damaged when I open it up, but we'll figure that out here in a few minutes when we see what's inside. So let's begin. All right, here it is. One more layer of bubble wrap. And here is the iPad. This is a second gen. And if we flip around to the back, we can see it's a 32 gig model. It's the Wi-Fi Plus 3G model. Appears to be in really good condition. No dents on any of the corners. And I'm not seeing any scratches on the rear. Probably some fingerprints on the screen. Actually not too bad at all. This device is basically flawless as far as I can tell. Let's see if it is turned on. It's not, let's see if it has any power. And it does, we are met with the old style iOS 6 or below Apple logo. Again, I believe this to be on iOS 5 based on the seller's description and I'm not sure why we're seeing this logo. I hope the iPad is not updating itself. Not sure what's going on there. We'll let this boot up and see what we got. Okay, here we go. So they actually reset the iPad, but luckily we're still on iOS 5. You can tell it's 5 because of the lock icon at the top there that was removed in iOS 6. Let me go through the setup here. Once we're at the home screen, we'll take a look at this thing. And here we go. Here is the home screen of the iPad second gen. This is definitely iOS 5. We have the YouTube icon. We've got the iOS 4 slash 5 wallpaper. Let's go into settings and see specifically which version this is. And it looks like we're on 5.0.1. So a really early version of iOS 5. Again, this is a 32 gig model. We have Verizon as the carrier. Although I believe all these iPads were sold unlocked. If we check iCloud, obviously there's no account. Let's see if the App Store is working on iOS 5. It looks like, well, I was going to say it looks like it's going to load, but maybe not. I wonder if the region is set to the wrong one for some reason. Okay, here we go. I'll turn this in landscape so it fits better. Here is the iOS 5 App Store, and it's still working here in November of 2023. Let's see if Minecraft will give us a preview, and it does. We can still see the photos for Minecraft. This is version 1.20.41, updated on November 2nd, so about a week ago. Really amazing that this is still working. Multitasking is working. We've got the brightness and the volume sliders down here, as well as AirDrop, which still works. So that is actually my home pod. I named it Anakin's Pod Racer. And it connects to that just fine. So this is pretty sweet that we have an iPad second gen on iOS 5.0.1. So in terms of wallpaper, what is this one? Oh, it's like a um, some sort of pattern. I don't love that. I like the brighter wallpapers. How about this? It actually looks like it's low resolution, so I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it's kind of grainy in comparison to the rest of the iPad. But it still looks pretty good, especially when held from a distance. So the iPad second gen launched in the beginnings of 2011, it actually shipped with iOS 4. It was the only dual core device that had iOS 4 support. 
the iPad 2nd Gen introduced a rear camera as well as a front camera, whereas the 1st Gen iPad did not have that. It was substantially thinner and had a more tapered edge with these rounded off corners and it was actually quite pleasant to hold. It was much lighter, quite a bit thinner. And this iPad updated the internals as well. We got the A5 chip, which was a substantial upgrade from the A4 seen in the first gen iPad. And we got double the RAM. So we got 512 gigabytes here in the, sorry, 512 megabytes RAM in the second gen iPad compared to just 256 in the first gen. And this iPad, while it shipped with iOS 4, it would get updates for iOS 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So quite a few updates there. iOS 5 being just the second update this device ever got. You could actually buy it new on iOS 5. So you could buy this new with iOS 4, buy it new with iOS 5, and iOS 6, and iOS 7. The iPad 2nd Gen was actually sold alongside the iPad Air in 2013. Believe it or not. That may be the biggest difference in devices in terms of performance and capabilities that have ever been sold at the same time from Apple. The camera actually looks like it's decent here, but don't let that fool you. This is the same camera that's on the fourth generation iPod Touch, and I believe it's a 0.7 megapixel camera on the rear with a 0.3 megapixel camera on the front. So not ideal but you can take photos in a pinch situation. All right, we've got Photo Booth here. I think this will be the last app that we take a look at. And um, yeah, that's been it for this one. I hope you enjoyed checking out this iPad 2nd Gen running iOS 5.0.1. Again, this is a 32 gigabyte model and it's the Wi-Fi Plus 3G. Pretty neat to see, it's in immaculate condition, no dents, no scratches, certainly no cracks on the display. Very cool device. All right, that's been it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video.